Making your way in the world today takes everything you've got. Taking a break from all your worries sure would help a lot. Wouldn't you like to get away? Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. And they're always glad you came. You want to be where you can see our troubles are all the same. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Welcome to the Sketches of Our Town series. Our first stop here is Sterling, the little village with the big heart, as you can see right there. Come on with us, we're going to go into the village now. <laughs> we're in the ghetto. <laughs> see, welcome. We're here in the nasty ghettos of Sterling, as you can see. Wow, look. Derelict buildings and whatnot, and broken glass. It's quite a quite a good impression to the people who first come here. I, I agree. I wonder if they're true. <laughs> the only limousine, the but the only limousine. Can I ever lay on the <laughs> Make. Help me. <laughs> Those bags are full of some kind of weird liquor. Easy, you're you told me you're you're older than me here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what, that's what you said. You'd be 89, I mean. I'm 80. Hmm? I'm 80. Well, I'm 80. I thought you told me you're 89. You got you got to be 89 when I started. Well, so I in September. Mm -hmm. We have to go up and have a <laughs> 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 We are now approaching the Sterling Creamery. Turns out People aren't allowed into the creamery because of street clothes and street shoes. Fascists. <laughs> Are you disappointed about Sherry's shopping shack? Didn't you really want to do some shopping with Sherry in her shack? I don't want to talk about it! Tell them. Well, he, he used to tie one on quite bad at times. And he used to fall, hit him down, but he was a darn good. He went out on, there was a balcony up mm -hmm. over the shoe store, and that, it, they owned that. <laughs> and he went out and um, he was drinking, and there was a couple of three old maids in town, and everything was there, and they were just old nosy as anything, I guess, in the old days. And he went out, and he peed off the balcony, <laughs> and he had to go to court. <laughs> and I don't know, how much did they charge him, Earl? Do you remember? Either 10 or 20 now. Yes, yeah, or something. And he gave him double. He, he said, I might want to do it again someday. <laughs> he was an awful character. <laughs> Well, we've come to the building that had Shat's propane service, but apparently it's closed, like many other things in this ridiculous town. But the kitty is alive. This brings us to the bowling alley, which appears to be through this door. This is a jip. Everything is open. Could you tell us perhaps why the intersection in the town is such an odd arrangement? Yeah. You know, how it angles around. And oh, isn't that often now with the, um, well, 
We used to just drive in and go. There wasn't a the traffic then, you know, mm -hmm. got there. And there wasn't any red lights or anything like that. The mother. <laughs> mother. Dear. I suppose Good, if you're not a family, oh. you're not allowed to go. Be tuned next week where we will explore the oddities of Tweed. You want to be where everybody knows your name. Everybody knows your name